political activist Dmitry Rosopoulos. Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure to be here with you. Thank in you. Solidarity. Thank you. So let's start with the UN and uh, the, the Western countries relation. I want to mention you that United Nations member states signed the Genoa Convention to prohibit the use of chemical weapons and to consider them as a war crimes. However, why does the United Nations remain silent about the chemical weapons used against the Kurds despite the all claims and evidences on this issue? Well, uh, very briefly, um, the United Nations is constituted of uh, politicians from various countries, and they have their own uh, uh, national interests to promote first and foremost. And whereas this international agreement banning uh, chemical weapons was signed in 1997, I believe, um, it, has, it, it, it has not been demonstrated that, um, with a few exceptions, that chemical weapons, in fact, have been used. I think there's only about uh, three countries that have refused to sign the convention. Um, but most of the other countries have signed the convention. But there have been very, very few cases uh, that demonstrate that uh, chemical weapons have been used. Now, we know very, very well that in Iraq, under Saddam Hussein, chemical weapons were used in several cases. And we also have reports that the Syrian government, the Damascus, also used ke chemical weapons. Now, the fact of the matter is that the reports that have been issued dealing with chemical weapons in that part of the world go back to 2019, and very little has been reported since 1919 from independent sources. And that is one of the problems. Thank you. Um, IPPNW and OPCW, as you know, they are related uh, and, and they are uh, institutions of the UN. Do you think there can or should be independent observers sent to the Kurdish region or samples from the region sent elsewhere uh, for analysis in the laboratories? What is your call for this? Well, the uh, OPCW, uh, is an independent body uh, based in The Hague. It has uh, some 500 people who work for it uh, with a very large budget in the millions of euros. But the fact of the matter is that they have not conducted any uh, uh, investigation of their own in uh, the areas that we are concerned with uh, that can demonstrate that chemical weapons have been used by uh, the Turkish military, for example. So we don't have up-to-date reports on whether chemical weapons or not have been used by independent sources like the uh, OCPW or the, uh, the European Union or any, agent, any other agency of the United Nations. And that is what is really uh, one of the major things that is missing. Also, another issue, actually, you have uh, witnessed as well, I want to remind you, in front of the whole world, the Turkish state both carried chemical weapons to the ISIS guns in Rojava and used these weapons on, the, on, on their uh, attempt to invade northern Syria as well. What action can be taken against the Turkish state in the international arena? Listen, uh, I want to be very realistic. And what I would strongly suggest is a very high-level international delegation be organized uh, that will visit these areas on the ground and examine whatever evidence can be examined. Such an international delegation should consist of medical doctors, 
should consist of uh, prominent other prominent people, should consist of representatives from uh, important international organizations, and they should then come back uh, and report what they have seen, the people that they have spoken to, the hospitals that they have visited, uh, and they should report it to uh, the Human Rights Commission of uh, the uh, European Union They should uh, in Brussels. They should go to the uh, meeting, the, the headquarters of the OCPW in The Hague, and they should go to U the New York, directly to the United Nations, and, and speak there. Uh, I mean, this is the kind of civil society presence and pressure that has to be organized. And we have to put aside for the moment expecting national governments, be it this one or that one, to speak out against um, what Turkey may, um, Turkish military may or may not be doing in that part of the world. Now, uh, there are countries that do not belong to NATO. And there are countries that have an independent, more independent voice than those who are all committed to NATO. And that's the kind of uh, international publicity and lobbying should be done by such an international delegation having a very good report, maybe even publishing a book on, on the use of chemical weapons. I mean, this is what it needs to be done from the ground up. Uh, just a small question. Would you be available to join some delegation like that to go there to collect evidences? Of course I will. Of course I will. Uh, given, given, uh, given certain circumstances, I will. And uh, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be very uh, committed to doing that because it's a question, uh, since I'm active in the, in the nuclear disarmament movement and the peace movement, I'm very concerned about... Uh, these kinds of possible civil uh, human rights violations and, and, and war crimes, in fact. Our friends in London can get a hold of somebody like Tariq Ali, uh, who is the, uh, uh, one of the main uh, organizers of this event, and raise the question of having an international trial on uh, the possible use of chemical weapons, uh, as well as this other idea uh, that I'm putting forward of putting together a powerful international delegation to go and visit and also to come back and to report to this uh, jury, international jury. So these are the kinds of uh, strategies that we have to evolve in order to get down to the basic, is there the use of chemical weapons or is there not and what damage has been created and so on and so forth. I know very well that you are not have any intention to become famous, but I know you are very important with the uh, chemical weapons, uh, some movements against the chemical weapons. So very short, very briefly, can you please uh, let our uh, uh, audience know uh, what is your ex experience, you know? Uh, because we we only give a title for you, a political activist, but you are more than that. I, I am very active on any number of issues as a writer, as a speaker, as a uh, publisher. Uh, I, I speak uh, at international conferences and so on and so forth. So, but my passionate concern is uh, uh, disarmament including, of course, uh, against uh, the use of chemical weapons and uh, uh, world peace and human rights. These are my main passions. And I will do anything I can uh, to promote uh, these ideas and these values and to speak out against any crime against humanity. The last question is international forces entered Iraq in 2003, as you remember, under the pretext of chemical weapons. Why don't the same international powers even take a step against the Turkish state's use of chemical weapons today? Well, again, uh, what, what has been, uh, I mean, I, I look at the discussion that has been taken place at the Human Rights Commission and Security Commission at the European Union. In, 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 uh, in June of this year, a question was posed uh, 
to the president of the commission. And in October of this year, the commission replied about the use of chemical weapons by uh, the Turkish military in exactly those areas that you're concerned about. What did the president of the commission say? No reports of confirmed medic, uh, chemical attacks have been made. However, then he got on to say that the commission and the union, the European Union has urged Turkey, Iraq, Syria, etc. to carry out, uh, as well as the Kurdish population, to carry out peaceful negotiations to work out better relations. So what, what does this say? It says that an independent uh, way of finding out what is happening, documented with serious reporting, has to take place in order uh, to make some uh, to open up the subject to international view. Dear Dimitri Grossopoulos, a political activist, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your valuable comments today. It's wonderful to be part of your program. Good luck to you and carry on the very important work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.